I got a question for you. Uh, we all see hit television shows like CSI. Uh, how accurate are these TV shows or is it just uh, something for Hollywood? Well, well, there's a lot of uh, inaccuracies in TV shows, but the problem that you're getting at, uh, Sean, is how accurate is forensic science at all in real life? And the Innocence Project, for example, which has done a wonderful job in uh, pointing out to how innocent people get uh, uh, are convicted and in jail. And 20 years later, they find out the DNA doesn't match and things like that. And they say, well, it shows you the system works, except of course the guy's been in jail for 20 years, in prison for 20 years. But the Innocence Project has found, going over its couple hundred cases now that they've been involved with, that I think in 40% uh, errors were made by the prosecution experts, by the medical, that there was, uh, testimony and findings uh, that led to the guilt that were wrong, and uh, like and, and uh, this is and this is not by witnesses per se. This is these are testimonies is, by the medical expert. Yes, by the scientific wow. expert. That is well, witnesses also because part of it is is uh, uh, misidentification, eyewitness identification. That's wrong, but a, a good deal with the eyewitness uh, uh, misidentifications, the way the police present the pictures to the uh, you know the photographs to uh, uh, witnesses uh, and get them to point out uh, and they get they point out the wrong person uh, on the eyewitness, but also the actual the actual science. Like uh, there's a science of bite mark evidence. People are in jail because uh, the forensic dentist and the medical examiner determined that the perpetrator uh, uh, of this rape uh, bit the breast, and we can show that the bite mark on the breast matches, uniquely matches the suspect the police picked up. And you wind up uh, later that most often that's mis, uh, those identifications are incorrect. I th even fingerprint uh, identifications are sometimes incorrect. There was a famous case about 2000, around the turn of the century, where there was a, a, an explosion on a train in India, in India, and uh, the uh, FBI matched a fingerprint on the explosive uh, bag that was carried uh, to a lawyer, I think it was in, in Seattle, Washington, they had their eyes on a, on a, a Caucasian lawyer who had met, married a, a um, um, Arab uh, wife or something, uh, and uh, they matched his fingerprint to the uh, um, uh, to the explosion. I said in, in Spain, the explosion in Spain that, that killed a whole bunch of people. Uh, the Spanish authorities said there wasn't a match, but uh, who are you going to believe? The Spanish. Uh, 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 fingerprint experts with the FBI. This is the FBI. Exactly. They put this guy in jail. They put this guy in jail. Uh, he was in jail. A lawyer. He was a lawyer. And uh, they found out that it was the wrong identification. They caught the, the Spanish people, caught the right person, and they had to release this guy. This is a guy who's in jail on FBI fingerprinting. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, this, uh, so the matching of fingerprints, the matching of, of bullets, uh, uh, the uh, uh, even DNA matches have been wrong sometimes. So uh, uh, there are uh, uh, in, in the exonerations in the innocence uh, 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 exonerations innocence about forty percent uh, had uh, bad uh, bad uh, testimony from experts. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.